BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Talking about money with our kids often begins and ends with, how much do you need? Start by helping them learn the difference between needs, such as clothing, and wants, such as money to go to a concert. Share with them how you go about managing your money and what you are saving for and why. Don't be afraid to share the mistakes you have made along the way. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU. Farmers Policy Perks are that little extra something you can get when you're a farmer's customer. So to tell you about them, we're adding a little extra something to this ad. Another me. And when you have multiple farmers policies, you could save up to 45% on your auto insurance with the Auto Multi Policy Discount. What's going on with our voice? I thought I'd add some drama. Well, isn't that something? Get a quote at Farmers.com. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Not available in every state. Only available with select Farmers branded policies. Subject to terms and conditions underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance Exchanges, Farmers New World Life Insurance Company, or affiliate. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Someone on Reddit just asked people to name the oldest piece of technology that they have in their house. And uh, lots of great answers. Of course, when you hit the big uh, 6-0 like myself, you can imagine I got some old technology hanging around somewhere. I got, I got Dude, Even yesterday while we were like gutting out our house and packing some stuff, uh, I came across one of our closets and it had, I, and I forgot I even had this, a VHS to DVD recorder. Oh, really? Oh, that's, man, boy, that was the day. Right, and it's like, there's a part of me that's just like, oh, I could probably trash that or give it to somebody. And then I was like, well, I still have some VHSs that I probably would want to put on DVD. Like, I'm already convincing myself to keep something that I didn't even know I still had that I haven't used for like 10 years. Yeah. So, did you keep it? It's still, yeah, yeah okay. of course. What VHS <laughs> tapes do you have? Yeah. Because that, oh, okay. Yeah. Those no, kind. I'm okay, kidding. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> You know, I have a couple old like concerts and like videos like of like oh, that old sense. band performances. Oh, okay, okay. A, a little, a couple of little like random things like that. Most of it I've already transferred to digital, but I don't know why. I just I've, I'm holding out like I guess in my head like oh I might still need to do something. Yeah, I have an I have an HD player, like an eight like the eight the HD uh, DVDs. Oh, that's when it was like the battle between which yeah. is going to work, Blu-ray or HD. Yeah, I don't because I have I have a couple of Harry Potter movies that were originally released only on HD. They weren't they they wouldn't do Blu-ray because they were fighting, and so mm -hmm. Harry Potter watched HD and like well I that's want funny. I want to buy these movies, so I got to have this player. Do you have your laser disc player still too? <laughs> do, do not I do not have that at least. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But I mean I have two HD players, and they only get used once every five or six years to the point where I turn them on and. And they're like, what are you doing? Why are you bothering me? <laughs> and uh, I, I haven't completely upgraded my Harry Potter to all Blu-ray yet. I'm just like, I'm not going to. I've got an HD for crying out loud. It should be good enough. <laughs> In my apartment, I think the oldest piece of technology I have is the my Nintendo. My original Nintendo from 1985. The That's cool. NES. Yeah. And it still works. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, a lot of yeah, consoles are that old now. I think yep. that's it because every everything else is at my mom's house, and I, you know, in terms of like VHSs and stuff like that. So I think about that too. Like my parents probably still have my box because someone just texted me saying I still have a working Atari seventy eight hundred, all Ooh, my twenty six hundred nice. and seventy. And the seventy eight hundred were like the upgrade. That was, that like was the Xbox yeah. One. Yeah, but I remember. I think my parents still have my box of the Atari 2600 with all the cartridges. Nice. And that's, last uh. time I tried using it, it still works if you have the right adapter for your TV. Mm -hmm. oh, Although I think man. I want to get one of those, um, they, they, they sell them for all different game systems, like the Genesis one or the Atari one. I want to get one of those, like the plug into the HDMI, and then you have like 50 games on it. Yeah, well, it's like all in a joystick. Like it's like one joystick that's got also all, all those games. It's, it's funny you mentioned that, Steve. Uh huh. I actually have one of those. For the Atari. Nice. That's and what I'm thinking. Either Sega Genesis or Atari I want to do. The Atari one, I mean, the games are just, it's so 
old. Like, yeah. just like, yeah. it's like one block that you're supposed to imagine is a person is fighting another oh, block, right. which is supposed to be maybe a creature. I don't know. It's a block. I'm fighting it. Welcome to my life, gentlemen. In my late teens and early 20s, that's all we had. And we thought it was amazing. You played that was a combat. That game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bet oh. that's on the Atari thing. And mm-hmm. it's just like this weird box thing that's supposed to be, I guess, like a tank. Yep. And yeah. it shoots like little boxy things oh, at yeah. the other person. Yeah, yeah. yeah your bullets so, are boxes. It's a rectangle shooting, shooting, yeah, shooting squares. <laughs> Maybe I'll go with the Sega Genesis Mini then. Because at least that has Sonic the Hedgehog on it. And that's really all I want. Or and we, even if you look at that, it looks pretty dated, the, the, the graphics. We could go back to our conversation yesterday. If you want, you could just come play my Sega at my house. And that's can, true. You know, on our bean bags. And ha- <laughs> just ask your mom tonight. <laughs> come. I'm going to tell her that, um, yeah, that, that we're, we're going to work on our homework. Okay. Someone on Reddit says they have a top-loading VCR with dial tuners for VHF and UHF. Do you guys Whoa. even know what that is? I do. Yeah, we used to yeah. have one. Do, Vicky and Danny, you don't know VHF, UHF. Joe, Sarah, do you know VHF, UHF? I remember seeing it, but I don't know wow. what it means. Wow. Isn't that amazing? I loved it because when when I was growing up, being a big wrestling fan, the, the UHF channel would get me different wrestling shows, and I was just like, "This is awesome!" I felt like I was like getting like like some kind of like secret feed. I forget what even what the three letters mean. I just know that like all of your Comos and all of your Kong, you know, like Como and Kong and King and uh, you know and 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 Cairo Seven, those you get on VHF. But right. then anything you, that was in double digits, like you know anything that was in the thirties or forties, and I, I don't even know what they are so around very here. Very high frequency and then ultra high frequency. Oh. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know around here because I didn't grow up here with v- with UHF in Boston. It was uh, Channel Thirty Eight and Channel Fifty Six. Those were our two big UHF channels. Mm-hmm. They were basically independent stations. They didn't have a network, so they're the ones where you watch all the reruns. And sometimes, like Star Trek, was always on on stations like that because they were always an independent show back yeah. in the day. We had a couple of them. It was I think Channel Twenty Two, and that was that basically turned into whatever Joe TV is now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then like the 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 boring ones. Like uh, the the political stuff, like you would have to you know listen to people doing like community meetings and stuff like that. It would be like Channel Twenty Eight or something like that. Yeah, and those are basically the only two that I knew of around here. And how about a VCR that had tuners so that you could get those? Yeah, well, if wow. memory serves me correct, so you like switch over to VHF or the U uh, the v, the UHF, and yeah. then like you'd have to like then spin another knob to try and get the the reception away. Yes, right? yeah. yeah, yeah, it was bad. Yeah, because I, I think the UHF uh, <laughs> antenna was a circle, and then the rabbit ears were for VHF. If oh. I remember it back in the day, one text says anything above channel thirteen was UHF. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what it was. Thirteen. I wasn't sure exactly how high it went. Uh, somebody's got a microwave that's older than most of the people who live in the house. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> I, I had one of those, like a little white microwave for the longest time. Eventually, when I moved to the Puyallup house, I got rid of it. But it, it was like just like its own little portable thing, and it had like the little little tray in the middle, and, and it was just such a pile. Though, did anybody ever have the Amana radar range, which I do believe what was the, the hell first? Is that? I believe me? it's the first microwave, and they called it a radar range. And Barbara that Hale, sounds dangerous. Who used to be, I think, uh, one of the actors on Perry Mason, the old Perry Mason show. She was the one that sold it. Is it is it an old microwave? Yeah, it looks kind of like looks like one. Yeah, yeah that, it looks like a toaster oven meets a microwave. It almost looks like a TV. Actually, yeah, it kind of looks like a television it from was, the seventies. I begged my parents to get one of these because it was it, it was before we ever called them microwaves. It was like I want a radar range. This thing cooks things so quickly. Barbara Hale from Perry Mason. Oh, I remember my father was like, "Will you shut up about the radar range?" I wonder if anybody still has one of those hanging around. I doubt oh, wow. it. Man. Yeah, right. I got to imagine at some point you realize that this is just worthless and I could get a microwave well, that works I, better I feel and like maybe the, not get cancer from it. Well, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you could weaponize it now. It has probably so much radiation in it. Right? Yeah. That's classic. Somebody says they got a rotary phone that still works. Or as someone else put it, a telephone with the circle sliding thing. Yeah. <laughs> That was the worst. I'd always get so mad at my friends if they had like a bunch of nines in their number. I'm like, it's going to take yep. me forever to call you, man. Did you, did you guys have rotary phones, Vicky and Danny? I think we might have as a little kid, but we also had the toy Fisher Price rotary oh, guy, which right. they oh, yeah. now changed to like yeah. the cell phones. Yeah, yeah. We I'm not at my mom's house, but at my grandparents' house for sure. They had the rotary totally. phones. Yeah. yeah. How about oh, having cassettes? Fun. I'm that guy, yeah. though I finally had to buy a cassette player. I got a ton of cassettes with no cassette player. Well, and that's the cool thing nowadays, again. A, band, mm-hmm. a bunch of bands are doing, like, super limited edition cassettes these yep. days. Cassettes? I have a couple of friends that are releasing things on cassette only. And I'm like, and, okay, so I'm never going to listen to it. Yeah, right. why? Me. I, I, Instead I, of, like, vinyl or something? Yeah. Yeah. See, vinyl oh, makes super sense. Hipster, because then. vinyl yeah. sounds good. Yeah. I don't understand cassettes. Cassettes always sounded like a pile. It's, it's more of, like, a vintage 
kind of a hipster thing where yeah. it's, you're not necessarily really putting out because you're like, oh, this is the greatest quality, but it's more like something unique and different and probably rather cheap to press. Yeah. So it's a conversation starter. But yeah, I don't have a cassette player in my car. And the last cassette player I had in my house was my alarm clock. Yeah. Wow. I had to get one. I don't remember one. the last time I had a cassette player. I don't even know where I could listen to a cassette. I have a cassette player. I just remembered. My dad recently gave me one. He's like, here, I got you a CD player, cassette player, little guy. He's mm-hmm. like, just so you can have while you're working in the garage. I'm like. Isn't that, your father has no idea, like, Dad, do you understand I don't get my music that way like, at all? He knows, because I, I got him, like, the online account for music and stuff. I've like, got an share, iPhone, yeah. Dad. What do I need this yeah, for? Dude, honestly, I don't even have a CD player, I've come to think of it. Well, what do you need In it my for? car or in my house. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I've, I mean, I don't need it. I think my Blu-ray player is a CD player. I have, like, a, I C- think. I have a CD I thing. I think from- they can play CDs. Yeah, but, like, Xbox, I think, could play a CD, I would imagine. Yeah, I, but I haven't used it in- Forever, really. I have one of those uh, portable CD things that, that you hook with the USB into, like your, my, my Surface. So that way, if I have to load something or use a CD, I have at least. I, have to, I don't know where it is. I'll probably find it when I'm moving. But <laughs> that was the weirdest thing when you when you buy a new computer and they don't have a CD ROM. I was like, what are you yeah. supposed to do then? They like, how do you buy a portable? One? Yeah, I know. It's such a pain in the ass. It's so true. It's ridiculous. Um, it's like I got these illegally downloaded audio editing programs, but they're on CD. <laughs> <laughs> so now I got to go buy a CD. For yeah, us. who needs that? How about a reel-to-reel tape recorder? Did anybody I mean, see? I feel like you're a super audiophile oh. if you ever had one see, of those in the first place. I have, I have a reel-to-reel audio t- because we had to record reel-to-reel when I was going to radio school, but that, that was yeah. like 15 years ago, and I still have those, but I don't have a way to play them. I never owned one, and I started in radio where that's all you had was reel-to-reel. There was no digital, yep. but I never owned one, which I'm really happy about because I think I would have owned one. I bought one from our from my work at the end. I bought one of the ones they were getting rid of uh, because it was a multi-track recording reel-to-reel, so they, it was for music purposes. So I'm yes. like, oh, this is cool. It was like a couple hundred bucks that I was able to buy it off of the, the engineer guy. Which I don't even know if it was like technically we were supposed to do that, but he sold it to me. Well. So. <laughs> but when I made the move, it was just big clunky thing, and it just took up way too much space. And so during the move, I found one of my buddies who was like an audio nerd. I'm like, hey, do you have any use for this? And he like lost his mind. He's like, this is the vintage blah 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, cool. Your excitement means I'm going to get more money out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah. sold it to him? Oh Hell yeah! All right. Well, good for you. Then well, you I was going to give it away, but he was like, oh, what do you want for it? I'm like, uh, what are you willing to give me? He's like, I'll give you. And he, it was like a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. Good for you, like buddy. 500 or something like that. When I paid like 200 for I wonder it. what it's worth. It's probably worth way more than 500 He's probably <laughs> yeah. telling his friends, Steve was an idiot and just yeah. handed this to me for free. And they would be like, you got that right, buddy. But I, I used it like twice. Ever. Yeah. I have a Texas instrument alarm clock that was my dad's, which is the weirdest thing. I have my dad's watch, his gold watch that they are they gave him when he retired. I have that, and 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 then and my I've been using this for over thirty years. It still works. It still it wakes me up in the morning. That's insane. It's like the old beep beep beep. It's wow, that. you still trust it? Oh well, I have other backups. Oh, okay. backups, but I mean, you know, why it still works. You haven't downloaded the latest iOS update for it. That's what it is. <laughs> I am so surprised it still works. Granted, maybe because it's just simple. It just basically shows you that red, those yeah. red stick figure letter, you know, yeah. numbers. Yeah, it still works. Yeah, there it is. That's it. That's the thing. That's the one that I have. Oh, I remember those. I had one of those. Back I remember in the day. My dad was more techie than I remembered. I, I wish we could have really bonded on that, but I was a little kid and I was pissed at the whole world. Uh, but he loved technology, so he is. As soon as they came out with digital alarm clocks, my father's like, "I'm getting one of these for the bedroom, hun." I remember him telling my mother that, and we've had he. I've had it. I was like, "That's for some reason." That was like, I love tech. He loves tech. I took that like I have all the stuff that we took when he passed away. You know what it kind of reminds me of, and I haven't thought about in years: the old VHS rewinders. Oh, I got, yeah. I got two of those. You got two of those? Yeah, Still? you know, you can't have too many when you have as many tapes as I do. <laughs> well, back in the day, <laughs> you know what I kept for the longest time? I got like a, like a thrift shop type of a purchase. It was like a, a handheld camcorder, like the old. Oh but it was like it was a rather big piece of tech, like. Gadgetry. It was. It was, and the funny part was, it never worked really well. It was terrible quality, but I kept it forever until finally I realized my my cell phone does better video oh. and audio than this giant hunk of crap. And it's the one you put the VHS tape in it to record, right? It wasn't even a full size VHS tape. It was like a mini size VHS. <laughs> oh tape. yeah, <laughs> which you needed an adapter for. It was right. just a pile. Yeah. My so, mom was a teacher, and we didn't we went, didn't have a video camera because she couldn't afford one. So she would go to the AV department and check it out from them, and she'd come home with this like three bags, and it was yeah. like for one camera to be like, oh here's. 
pictures of little Danny. You know, I, I, so, isn't that nuts? <laughs> yeah, yeah Vicky just pulled up. Mine was like a burgundy oh, color, but it was yeah. the RCA VHS. Oh, yeah, camcorder. we had one you, of those. And you were the man. I mean, I was. people yeah. criticized me because I didn't have, I don't have video of my kids. And they go, dude, you can get one of these handheld cameras. And I just thought, these are such a pain in the ass. My dad had that. I remember him yeah. taking that to Disneyland. And it was just this giant what? thing. The thing is so cool. Like, it had a shoulder rest for you. Oh, that way yeah. it would hurt for so long. Because it's like 20 pounds. It was, he- it was heavy <laughs> as all hell. But I wanted, <laughs> sorry, kids. That's why there's no videos of you when you're little. I wanted no part of that. <laughs> I remember thinking, I can't. I, when I got, I was like, I'm going to make movies. Like I thought it was going to be like the highest quality thing. And it was terrible. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we made we made movies as little kids. We we made the fart knocker. Yeah, the we, fart knocker. Yeah, it was based off of Stephen King's The Tommy Knockers. Oh, okay, we just ran around farting. We re- well, there you go. That's a shocker <laughs> for Rev, huh? We reimagined Friday the Thirteenth and did like a whole like you know just us like murdering each other. Oh, I thought it was nice. Fart Day the Thirteenth, and time. we got like the slime. Those like little things of slime. So like you're like stabbing it, you're ripping it out, and you, the slime was like I guess parts of your body. For some reason, we thought our, in, our insides were uh, fluorescent green. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's because you were all possessed by some alien pod thing, right? Yeah, clearly. Yeah, that's what, that's yeah the fart knocker. Friday the Thirteenth meets the fart knocker. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> We got a fifth grader in Florida that was sent home from school for the type of mask that he was wearing. And his family is not happy about it. You're going to hear from them at 817 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. Are you saving for your child's college education? If so, consider a 529 plan. To find your options, visit savingforcollege.com. You will find a comprehensive list of other states' plans along with details, rankings, tools, and calculators. That's savingforcollege.com. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU. Bundle your home and auto with Farmers and you could save up to 20%. 1 plus 1 equals 20. It's bundle math. Get a quote at Farmers.com. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Not available in every state. Only available select Farmers branded policies. Subject to terms and conditions underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance Exchanges or Affiliate. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There's a fifth grader in Florida that showed up to school wearing a face mask like you're supposed to. But they did not like his Hooters face mask, so they made him wear a different one. And now his family is upset about it. There is nothing offensive or derogatory about this mask. I don't think it's offensive at all. It's just a restaurant. And she said it was not appropriate for school. And I asked her why, and she said, if you really want to know why, go ask the principal. He told me to take it off three times, and... I asked him why. He just said, just take it off. So I took it off. We go there as a family. We eat there. I mean, our, our favorite thing there is what? The chocolate cake? Yeah. I never had their chocolate cake. I've never had the chocolate cake either. That's not, but you know, I have these guys, they go there a lot. So that's the one thing they highlighted on the menu. I'm having that chocolate cake next time. I, I go both ways on this. I feel like, look, there are so many different face mask choices you have. What's the, just put on a different one. Um, I don't, I don't feel badly for the school because the soup, the, 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 the people that work at school have to answer to the PTA and all that. And, you know, they're just like, why do we need this? Some, some parent may get upset. Some kid may get upset. So I don't blame the principal or the teacher because they have to answer to the, Pains in the asses that no, we I'd be a terrible principal. That's probably why I'm not a principal for many reasons. But can I be like, dude, it's just a stupid mask that says Hooters on it. And I'm sure people wouldn't have a problem if it, like, if he was wearing like, what's that that college team, the Gamecocks? You know what I mean? Like, if all of a sudden he wore that, they'd probably be like, oh, he's a fan of that team. That's not a problem because it's talking about a woman's boobs. And it's not even talking, it doesn't show boobs. It just says the word Hooters on it. Yeah. And I, I, and Florida is what's really surprising me because that's, I mean, didn't Hooters start down there or they were started in the South at least? I don't know the full history of Hooters, but well, you should have really. To- what's wrong with you? I thought you watched that documentary. <sighs> There's just so much for, to pe- for people to be upset about. I- I'm with you, Steve. Who cares? Right. You know, it's, uh, who freaking cares? Is this really the problem we have to fight? But there's somebody that would be upset, and we're in a society where any organized body has to pretty much just say, I don't want trouble from anybody, so we're going to just do this blanket policy. What if it was like, you know, like Oscar Mayer Wieners made something, and it was just said, like, Wieners all over it? Would that be okay? <laughs> well, I don't know if it said Wieners. I mean, I said Wieners. <laughs> I, I've never seen Oscar Mayer put out any product that says Wieners, whereas Hooters at least is the name. Did you ever get sent home from school for something you were wearing? Oh, you know my story. I 
I think that do you know the story? Oh, the the birds banging. Yeah, the Fly United jacket. It was the best, and I and I and I literally was oblivious to what it meant. My brother trolled the hell out of me as he brought it home from Vietnam, and it had all these cool patches on there. And for the first time ever, all the cool kids, because I was the geeky kid, were like, "What the f are you wearing? That's amazing!" And I'm mm-hmm. like, "Wow, it's just two birds. I guess this is really a cool jacket." <laughs> Fly United, and it's like, and yeah, and that's and I and it was a giant patch on this black jacket that my brother got me. Plus, you know the the peace sign, the American flag, and uh, all sorts of cool stuff. I and I didn't know. And they thought I was, they thought I exactly knew. And they were like, you know what it means. And I'm like, literally, I don't know what it means. I'm really, yeah. I was upset. I went home to my father and my father was pissed at my brother because my mother had already passed away. He would have pawned this whole thing off on her. And so he's just, all he kept looking, he just kept saying, Kevin. Every time I go, Dad, nobody will tell me what this means. I don't know. I'm real. I'm sorry. I don't know. Because I did not have action as a kid. I didn't know. I mean, I barely saw a magazine. You think it's two birds flying together. I didn't get that they were doing each other while flying. I just thought they were like flying in a flock. I just didn't get it. And my father was so big. My brother was just laughing the whole time. And I was like, God, I hate that I don't get this joke. I get something's going on, but I don't know what it is. The one time I got sent home, it was at Catholic high school. We had a school uniform. But on one of the days of the week, you could wear a turtleneck. That was, For some reason, that was okay. Oh, that was the cool As time. opposed to the button down. So a bunch of us thought, well, we're smart. We're just going to get those dickies. Yeah. Like the, the fake turtlenecks that you just kind of, well, now they're like those neck gaiters, basically. So you get it, and it like fit, stops around the chest area, and then we would put a T-shirt over it. So technically... We have a turtleneck on, but we can wear our favorite band's T-shirts. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing. They let us do that, which was cool. I came in one day. I was a big fan of the band Ned's Atomic Dustbin, which is like a one-hit wonder at best. They had that Kill Your Television song. But their shirt, it said like Ned's and something atomic. It said the F word on the back. Oh. And could you the, see it? Oh, yeah. It's plain as day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when my teacher's like, look, you guys have pushed it far enough as it is. Now you've got a shirt that says the F word. Either you turn it inside out or I'm sending you home. I'm like, I'm wearing it. I was trying to be like, Mr. Like, I'm like, anti-establishment. Screw you. I'm going to wear it. And they're like, oh, screw you. You leave. And so I had to go home. How'd, you, how, how'd the parents react to that? Uh, my mom threw away the shirt. Oh! <laughs> So much. I Damn. love it. You know what? You really know how anti-establishment you are when your parents go, "We are the establishment. Right. We've just taken this away. We will solve this problem. You will never wear that shirt again." Oh, that's awesome. So, says, "What about a face mask from Dex?" Well, I will tell you this: people in Seattle do not associate Dix with anything but delicious food. But Hooters, let's be honest. It the Hooters was not just about the food. And Which is, it's so funny because it's like when you really look at the, how the girls are dressed at a Hooters, and we don't have any here in Washington anymore. It wasn't really anything crazy for the time though. When it first happened, it, sure. it was it, it was like whoa, that's racist. But, but in you're right, 2020, but, yeah. But that's the problem is that it's you know I don't know what to say about the people. But when you're in school, you know how people are about kids and any kind of sexuality. They just put on the red alert, and they they, they have zero tolerance, and it frustrates Ooh. me. I was just looking on Dick's on uh, their website. They have what, little burgers, shakes, and French fries as their mask. Nice. Yeah, I think if I'm Hooters... It's a deluxe meal face mask. What if he just had, like, the orange, and it had all sorts of good food, and maybe the H from Hooters, but nothing else? You know, would that have been okay? You know, but because it said Hooters, which is also... We've called the breasts Hooters for a long time, long before Hooters actually was a place. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, I like Damn, you know, uh, so there's a lot behind it. You know what I mean? I think as a kid, though, how I didn't think about this with the whole face mask thing. Obviously, in a perfect world, we're not wearing them. But when I was a kid, the big deal was what kind of personalized lunchbox are you going to come to school with? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you would like that was a big oh, deal. Yeah, that like, was awesome. Start of the year. I've got my BG's lunchbox and I'm going to show everyone. Uh, and then, but you know what I mean? Like, like a Star Wars lunchbox or whatever it may be. Oh, uh, yeah. Or a team. I remember yeah. that was a big one. But like, nice. you, I didn't think about for kids, it could be kind of fun. Like they could come up with like a cool, like unique face mask that comes to school. Oh, and there's like. so many out there, man. Yeah, in high school, all, all we were all about the binders. Like we had all the pictures of like our favorite yep. actors and like things we liked. Ooh, jelly bracelets or whatever. So yeah, I totally get that. And I, like you, you have to make the best out of a bad situation if you're a kid. 
because you don't really have much of a choice. So yeah, why wouldn't you let them wear what they want to wear? But I think they, honestly, I feel like these parents are probably trying to see if they could poke the bear. How far can we go? Yeah, I like that place. I like their chocolate pie yeah, and I, cake. Uh, yeah. See, that irritates me with the parents. It's, it's like, I, guys, you know what the reason is. It's yes. I, You know, it, it, to feign ignorance on that is just ridiculous. It's like, I know it's a restaurant, but sir, you also know that the chicks are, are wearing the clothes to highlight their name of the restaurant. I mean, come on. I forgot all about covering the books with like the personalized yeah. things. Oh, I yeah. My, those my parents cool. were on the cheap. They just made us grab like the old paper bags yeah. that you get like your groceries yep. from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then put that around. And I remember I was so bummed. So I would spend like the day before school, I would spend the entire day with like markers drawing my favorite heavy metal band logos. Of course. Yeah, that was the best part. Anthrax. Yeah. But that I, way at least I showed up with like a, a heavy metal book cover. I was always so jealous of the people that had the book covers because we couldn't afford the book covers. It had to be the paper bags. Right. And you could tell who the rich kids were because they had the really awesome book covers. And yeah, the diamond yeah. encrusted ones. Yeah. Gold plated. They had all, Louis well, Vuitton. All the cool stuff though, Steve. Like all of the, like, whatever, like the Star Wars or whatever. Like mm-hmm. they could they could afford to get the licensed product book covers and you knew the haves and have nots. You just knew where they were. See, and that's funny because I feel like for when I was in school, like middle school, like we wanted the paper bag ones for the reason that Steve said is we so could draw, draw on them. We yep. didn't want the ones from the stores because the stores were like, ah, you can't draw. You don't want to ruin a bunch of those. Kittens. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you guys are, you know, you guys were in a generation where maybe you took it back. You're like, you know, we want the bags back. But you could, like, I lived in a town that had a rich section and a poor section. And, but we all went to the same schools. And you just knew the rich kids. You just, I mean, they came walking in with the best of everything. And, and, and I felt like, I said, and I, I just kept sitting there. One day I will have a Star Trek school binder thing. You know what was worse? It was worse than the garbage or the, the, the grocery paper bags. I remember one year my mom's like, Go in the closet. We still have some leftover Christmas wrapping paper from. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so tacky. Now I have like I'm I'm going to school in what like September. Yeah, baby. With Christmas presents as my book. That's amazing. <laughs> How bad is your life? You don't have paper bags. Well, wow, just, I feel better about who I am. It was just like it was like last minute. Didn't it was it was not so much even like uh, we couldn't afford it at that moment. It was more. I don't have time to get you there. I don't drive. Your father's not in a good mood. He's not going to drive me to the store. Go grab some Christmas wrapping paper, and you're good for at least tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> it was embarrassing, dude. All of a sudden, I'm coming in with like freaking Frosty the Snowman and 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 like Santa Claus wrapping paper around my books. See, like you could have just like, made them metal, made them like put the, like the weird face paint on them or something, and like made them wear Metallica shirts. You could have had fun with it. Yeah, I could have. Where were you when I needed you? Right. I, <laughs> Damn it. Not at your school, and probably not alive. And imagine this, man. Ouch. Imagine that um, like year. we come from a time. Time where you could have because you did it to protect school books. Yeah, because those school books needed to last at least a decade. Yes. Nowadays, there's no way that ten year old information would be anything you'd teach a child because there's just so much advances in knowledge. Mm-hmm. Imagine that we were like, you know, so here's how it, here's what you're doing, and you go, well, wait a minute, I think I read an article that this is not how it works anymore. You got a biology book that's massively outdated about yep. a particular thing. It doesn't matter. Here you go, stupid poor kid. And, and don't scuff up that book, otherwise, I'm dinging your parents for the money. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was funny. It blew my mind because uh, well, my ex-wife was a middle school teacher, and she was like, "I was at that actual middle school I went to in Albuquerque, actually." Weird. And uh, so I went, and I was like, "Oh, they still have the old lockers." She's like, "Yeah, we don't use them anymore." And I was like, "Why not?" And she's like, "Well, the kids don't need books or anything, so the reason they had lockers was because they had books, but it's all online now." Oh yeah, you so can hang up your coat on your chair. They had all the lockers um, like quarantined off during the school year, and you wouldn't have a locker break. Oh, because blew my mind. I was like, you don't use lockers? That was the best time. Like, maybe hoping the girl's going to come talk to you by the locker, you know? It was the best time if you weren't getting stuffed in one. I actually applaud the fact that no more more lockers. Yeah. Okay, let's just say that, okay? What was that time you opened up the locker and there was a snowman inside of there and he beat you up? (laughs) I'm done talking to you. It's, uh, we have a, we have ninety minutes left in this show, and I'm going to figure out how not to talk to you for the rest of the ninety minutes. <laughs> I, I can help. All right, good. Oh, good. Thank you. I've Bye, got Steve. Ideas. Yesterday, Steve, he got this one wrong. Yeah. What is a group of whales uh, called? Like a gargoyle, huh? <laughs> uh, a group of a gaggle? No. A flock? No. Damn, you ask this question. Sometimes they get it right, and sometimes they get it wrong. You live in the Pacific Northwest. How do you not know? Yeah, this? right. A load. No. Yeah, load a load no. of whales. Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what they're called. <laughs>
Especially that one particular whale. Just one. Yeah, it's a load. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think pod is what we're looking for. You want a shot to beat Steve and his load of whales? 206-421-ROCK. <laughs> we're playing Beat Migs at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I figure out who my creditors are? Now, people a lot of times have had a lot, a long time of not having good credit and having collections, and so they, they're concerned that, uh, you may be concerned that you, you won't be able to find all your creditors if you file bankruptcy. How will I know which collection agency has my credit card bill from 10 years ago now? Uh, and that's, that's something that's hard to keep track of when, because credit collection agencies transfer your debts all over the place. But we will pull all your credit bureaus, and by getting all three of your credit bureaus, we'll be able to tell who has your credit and debt now, uh, which collection agencies have had it in the past, and we'll make sure that we file all your creditors when we file your bankruptcy so that nothing slips through the cracks. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. BECU is committed to helping you become financially fit. Meet Todd Peach, KISW's financial advisor. When was the last time you took a look at the asset allocation of your investments? With the recent increases in the stock market, your investments may have behaved differently, with some gaining or losing more than others. This can throw your asset allocation out of balance. If you haven't rebalanced recently, take a closer look to make sure your allocations meet your objectives. To get more financial advice from Todd, visit KISW.com slash BECU.